With an increased number of employees working outside the traditional office setting, your organization can now record and track your remote workforce using PeopleSoft HCM. Employees can submit remote worker requests for themselves using the remote worker tile. In addition, HR administrators and managers have similar tiles to submit and approve requests. When you first access the Remote Worker Request page, you'll view a list of other remote work requests, if any, or you can create a new request. Record the duration of the remote work request. If you don't know the end date, leave that blank. Identify whether this request is for working fully remote or if it will be a hybrid situation of working part-time from the office and part-time remote. The remote worker pages appear in an activity guide layout and the system saves your information as you progress through the pages. Since the remote worker pages are built using an activity guide, you can configure the steps that work for your organization's process. As an employee, after viewing the guidelines of working remotely, you'll need to acknowledge your agreement to the terms and conditions. Next, enter the details of your request, such as the reason for working away from the office and the remote work location. When you select a hybrid work option, the page gives you the option to enter information about the days you'll be working remote. You can select by month, by week, or specify a specific daily schedule. Select the days you'll be working remotely. If you have supporting documents or notes you want to include in the request, upload them on the attachments page. Using the questionnaire framework, the administrator can request additional information. For example, employees can enter equipment details, internet access, and acknowledge other agreements needed to create a successful workplace environment. On the last page, the employee reviews the details of the request and then submits it for approval. The approval process can be set up for managers, administrators, or even a payroll manager. The approver will use the approval pages to review, deny, push back, or update the request if needed. Administrators use the remote worker insight visualizations to review the organization's remote workforce. The Kibana visualizations allow you to understand the types of remote workers you have in the organization, their locations, and departments, the different percentages of time employees are working remotely, and a table of the scheduled days employees are working remotely. As with other Kibana analytics, you can select an item in any of the tables or charts and dynamically change the view of all reports so you can drill down into the details of that item. The bottom of the grid shows a list of employees that meet the selected criteria. This completes our demonstration of the remote worker feature. PeopleSoft HCM delivers new self-service transactions in health and safety for employees to report and track employee wellness information in employee self-service, like vaccinations, test results, and allergies. Use the Vaccinations tile to report the vaccinations you received. The landing page shows the history of vaccinations that you and the administrator reported for you. Add a new vaccination entry. Select the vaccine you received, like COVID-19. Select the Decline Vaccine option if you don't want to get the selected vaccine and specify the reason on the next page. We don't use this option in this example. Enter vaccination details. The setup of the selected vaccine controls the display and behavior of certain fields and sections on this page. In this example, you can enter manufacturer information about the vaccine, and you must provide a supporting document as an attachment and an acknowledgement to submit the vaccination. The vaccination entry is submitted for approval. If the selected vaccine doesn't require administrator approval, the entry displays the status of recorded instead. You can report or track your test results using the test results tile. The steps you use to report vaccinations and test results are identical. 
Let's add a medical test result entry. Select the medical test to report. Enter test details. In this example, the test setup requires that you provide a supporting document as an attachment and an acknowledgement to submit the entry. The test result entry is submitted for approval. Lastly, if you have allergies that you want to report, use the Allergies tile. Specify the allergy and add any comment that you'd like the administrators to know about. On the Administrator Facing Health Card page, administrators can review or update the vaccination, test, and allergy information that employees reported in Employee Self-Service. Any information that the administrators add, update, or delete for employees on this page is visible to individual employees in the corresponding health and safety tiles. This completes our demonstration of the Employee Wellness feature. PeopleSoft HCM delivers a new Kibana dashboard for global payroll operations, providing payroll administrators a clear picture of the status of the payrolls for the month, the number of payees being processed, and the payment status, helping them determine open errors by severity. The Global Payroll Operations dashboard includes several interactive visualizations. You can filter the data based on company, pay group, and calendar group using predefined filters. Or build your own filters using page fields with clear labels, operators, and field values. Change the time filter to view data for the past year. You can also choose a default date for the global time filter based on payment date, period begin date, and period end date. On the Kibana dashboard, visualizations come in different chart forms to display the data. For example, the Markdown visualization takes you to the Global Payroll Work Center to get detailed information about transactions like payroll items and payee data for calendars. Donut charts represent two levels of metrics. The inner ring shows total calendar count, and the outer ring breaks down the total calendar count by calendar type, absence, and payroll. The pie visualization represents the total number of payroll segments distributed by employee status. It shows the top five employee statuses with the highest count by default. The calendar status gauge visualization displays the number of all calendars distributed by calendar status. The payment process status gauge displays two types of metrics. The left gauge represents the total calendar count in paid status, and the right gauge represents the total calendar count in sent to general ledger status. Here the inner ring shows the total payroll processing message count, and the outer ring breaks down the total payroll processing message count by warning and error. This horizontal bar chart visualization shows the breakdown of payroll processing messages distributed by calendar. This vertical bar chart visualization shows the breakdown of retro entries by year and month. Here you can view the retro entries by period ranges in days. This chart shows the retro entries by source record that generate the retro trigger. The operations data grid shows the data used in the visual reports in a tabular format. This completes our demonstration of the Global Payroll Operations Dashboard feature. HCM introduced the encryption framework in the last image to support the encryption and masking of sensitive data in your system. The framework provides flexibility in the setup to allow users with special administrator roles to view data on pages in the unmasked format and to select data to be encrypted and masked by country. To continue the effort to remain compliant with Notch's data security requirements, PeopleSoft now supports the bank account number encryption and decryption in areas like payroll interface, U.S. federal payroll, vendor sync, and check reconciliation. This completes the HCM encryption product uptakes feature description.
payroll for North America provides more granular options to control the display of paychecks with zero or negative net pay in employee self-service. Administrators have the option to decide if they want to show their employees' paychecks or manual paychecks with zero or negative net pay, with or without earnings. On the new Suppress Print page, administrators can suppress the bulk printing of paychecks with zero net pay and specify states or provinces where the Suppress Print functionality doesn't apply. This completes the zero net pay configuration options for view and print feature description. PeopleSoft HCM enhances the Fluid Manage Schedule feature, enabling administrators and managers to assign and manage schedules in time and labor. The Improved Configurable Search page provides the flexibility to search for employees from recent searches, saved searches, or using fields from the Time and Labor Manager Search options. This makes it faster and easier to find employees when you assign, copy, replace, or swap schedules. Choose the page you need based on the function you need to complete. Use the Assign Schedule page to view and manage schedule assignments or assign a new effective dated schedule. You can replace an employee schedule for a day on the Schedule Replacements page. Swap an employee's schedule with another employee's for a day or specified date range on the Swap Schedules page. Copy an employee's schedule to be used by another employee for a day or for a specified date range by selecting the schedule on the Copy Schedule page. This completes the Fluid Manager self-service scheduling feature description. PeopleSoft enhances the Page and Field Configurator to include the selection of system variables either for defining criteria or configuring fields. This update allows you to select system variables, like the current date, as a default field value or in the criteria. For instance, you can default the last date worked field in the job component to be the current date for the person entering the data when the action is a termination action. The list of possible system variables will differ depending on where you're using it, but can include program variables like component interface name or screen reader mode, and user variables like user ID or user email address, currency, and date and time variables. This completes the Page and Field Configurator System Variables feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.